This happens to me every year. When summer gets here, time speeds up like threefold. Days just, I mean, just cruise by. But today is Monday, so drop your c**ks and grab your socks because I, there is no way I can say that. I, I've got to edit that out because that will totally get this video demonetized. But anyway, it's Monday, so you know what time it is. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Manship Monday. So in this segment, we talk a lot about cigars. It's one of the things we go over quite a bit. And if you're like me, you like nothing more on a nice evening than to sit outside with a nice beverage and a good cigar. Very relaxing. However, the weather does not always cooperate with those plans. For instance, here in Florida, it gets like 9,000 degrees, which like I think yesterday, the heat index, it was 109. We have mosquitoes in the summer sometimes, the size of pterodactyls that can carry off small children. So while sitting outside and smoking a cigar can be pleasant, under those conditions, not so much. So sometimes smoking inside is a preferable situation. However, for me, smoking a cigar inside brings up a whole new set of problems, like a stinky house and a really pissed off wife. If you happen to catch the last episode of Manship Monday, you'll know that my solution to that problem was creating this cigar room in my house. A big part of being able to pull this room off was the necessity to keep the smoke smell out of the rest of my house while maintaining a comfortable smoking environment in this room. By popular demand, I will be doing a full video going over all the details of the entire circulation ventilation uh, system that I put into this room. But today we're gonna dig into the details on one part of that system. And it is a major part of what makes that system work as well as it does, the Rabbit Air Minus A2 Air Purifier. So in this video, we're mainly looking at the rabbit air in concerns to cigar smoke, the ability to clean, recirculate the air in a room and dealing with you know, having a cigar room or smoking inside. However, it is worth mentioning that this thing is good for more than just that. It is really good for just cleaning the air in general if you've got allergies, if you've got pets to keep the pet dander and stuff out of the air, just deodorizing the room if you've got mold problems. So even though today we're discussing mainly it in the scope of cigar smoking, Understand, it really has a lot of other purposes other than just smoking cigars. So without further ado, let's dig in. The unit I have is the Rabbit Air Minus A2. Specifically, the model number is the SPA-780N. Looking at the dimensions, it is 20 by 25 high by 21.4 wide by seven inches deep. For my folks everywhere else in the world, that's 51.4 centimeters high by 53.6 centimeters wide by 17.7 centimeters deep. The unit weighs in at about 19 pounds or 8.6 kilograms. It also has feet on the bottom so it can be used as a freestanding unit or like I did, you can remove the feet and wall mount it with the included wall mount bracket. In my opinion, it's a good looking unit. Very sleek, high gloss, a nice modern look. I don't feel like it looks like an air cleaner at all. It looks nice and fits right into your setup rather than being an eyesore and something you're trying to hide. You can get the unit in black or white and high gloss, or they have some custom finishes that are kind of more artsy. They have kind of an artistic feel to them. Uh, some more modern looking stuff and just artwork all the way down to cartoons and stuff. So if you were putting this in a kid's room, it would fit it in that environment. So enough about how this thing looks. Let's get into the important part. How does it work? The Rabbit Air has a five stage filtration system. It starts out by pulling air in around the whole front panel, runs the air through a customizable five stage filter system and blows out sweet, sweet purified air out of the top. If you have an IQ above the single digits, you should have no problem getting this thing up and running. It was super easy to set up. All five of the filters come put in this kind of I don't know, it's like a basket kind of cradle thing that holds all of the filters in the unit. You just unwrap all the filters, slap them back in there. They're clearly listed what side of the filter goes forward, put them all into the carrier, and then that whole big carrier just snaps right into the unit. Really easy, takes like five minutes. So let's go into some of the details on the individual filters in this five stage system. First, you have the pre-filter. This is gonna filter out large particles, pet hair, dusk, dusk. Hell's wrong. Dust. Man, if I ever got through one of these videos and didn't mumble my words, I would lose my mind. Dust, etc. Next, you have the medium filter. This one goes down to particles one micron in size, pollen, mold, pet dander, things like that. 
Then you have the BioGS HEPA filter. This is where this thing really starts pulling everything out of the air. This goes down to 0.3 microns. I don't really specifically know what 0.3 microns is, but it sounds small, so I'm assuming it's little. I mean, at this level, we're preventing the zombie apocalypse. You're filtering out viruses and stuff like that. Matter of fact, next flu season, when everybody's sick as hell, I'm just gonna come live in my cigar room for like the whole season. <laughs> that way, I know I'm breathing clean air and I should be good to go. Next, you have the customizable filter. In my case, it's a filter that is specially designed to remove odors, which in a cigar room helps neutralize that smoke. But they also have options for additional germ defense, pet allergies, toxin absorbers, depending on what your needs are. And last, but certainly not least, they all include an active charcoal filter which is another filter that is gonna further neutralize any odors in the air before it blows back out in the room, giving you that nice, clean, fresh smelling air. All right, so now let's go over some of the modes and controls of the unit. Uh, and as you notice, I put it up in the frame so we can kind of go over this. And I hope you guys appreciate that because I have this thing wall mounted, so I had to take this off my wall <laughs> just to bring it over here. But actually, it just hangs on the, the wall hanger, so it's actually really easy to take on and off, so I'm just kidding, it really wasn't a bad situation. But one of the main reasons I put it up here is because I wanted you guys to be able to hear it. I wanna run through the speeds of the fan and get an idea of how loud it is on what mode and so forth and so on. So, your first mode is what it's running on right now, which is silent. During silent, I'll be quiet for a second, you shouldn't be able to hear anything. If you do hear anything, it's probably just the floor noise for the microphone because from a couple feet away, barely audible at this point. Now from silent, if we move it up to low, that's the next speed and I'll be quiet for a second. I don't know if you can hear that at all, but still extremely quiet. From more than a few feet away, you're probably not gonna even hear that. Now the next one is medium. This is where it's starting to really move some air pretty good. Silent and low are just going to be kind of just slowly circulating the air. It's not what it's going to be on most of the time if you're using this for smoking cigars. All right, so let this thing rev up for a second. I'll be quiet again. Can you hear that? Still really quiet, very low, not going to bother you whatsoever. Just kind of some background white noise. Next mode is high. I will say high is what it's on most of the time when I'm smoking cigars. That tends to be the mode that's going to really get the air pumping. So if you've got smoky room, that's probably what you're going to be running on most of the time. So let's move it up to high. Sorry if this part's a little boring, but let's just... All right, so that is high. So let me be quiet for a second and you can take a listen. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Now, like I said, this is what it's on most of the time when I've got it on auto and I'm smoking cigars. This is what it tends to stay at. And yes, it's audible, but it's not distracting at all. When I'm sitting smoking, I'm sitting just a couple feet away from this thing. I'm watching TV. I don't have any problem hearing the TV over it. If I've got people in the room and we're smoking cigars and talking, it's not interrupting conversation whatsoever. It's a very tolerable volume. Last, you have turbo. Now, I don't run it on turbo, but this is if you really need some horsepower, you got some smelly crap going on in the room, you got a lot of people smoking cigars or you really wanna just move a lot of air, you got a turbo. Turbo does start to get a little loud. It's still very tolerable, but I do think at this point it would start affecting conversations in the room. You have to turn your TV up if you're trying to watch TV because it does have a little bit of volume to it, but let me just let that go for a second. Can you hear that? I mean, that thing is pumping out some air at this point, though. All right, so I put it back down on silent just so we don't have to talk over it. But just so you could kind of get an idea of the volumes and the different modes of kind of what you're dealing with. But overall, it's a very, very quiet unit. So as you just saw, you can go through, just smack the buttons and go through the modes without any problem. But what I usually like to do is leave it on auto. Now you can just go right here. Little button shows you it's on auto. Now during auto, what it does is it uses, uses. Here we go again, man, I'm tongue tied today. It uses the odor and particle sensors to tell the air quality and adjust your fan speed accordingly so you don't have to mess with it. That way, if I'm smoking a cigar and I'm sitting, having a drink, watching the TV, I don't have to be constantly messing with this thing. You set it on auto and it just does what it needs to do to keep the air the way it needs to be. You got a little indicator right here that's gonna show you your air quality. Right now, it's saying blue, which means the air quality is good. So that means, it means I shower today, I don't stink, I'm not putting off too much funk that's setting this thing off, but that's on blue for air quality's good. Let's light up a cigar real quick because I wanna show you guys how well this thing works. The a little V cut on this guy. Tobacco Baez, I guess that's how you pronounce it. I'm really bad with these names, but it's a kind of a bundle cheap cigar from my father and for a bundle stick this thing's really good so give it a try if you haven't had one get this guy lit up real quick now you'll see i have always been amazed with how well this thing works 
but usually relatively quickly, this thing, oh, there it was went, just went up to red. So now it's detecting the fact that there's some smoke in the air, there's some smell. And it'll slowly ramp that fan up to high, which is what it's on right now. I found that this thing works fantastically well. It really is. Actually, one of my buddies was pretty amazed by it. If I come into the room, I light up a cigar, and within like a minute, that thing will ramp up to red and start going. After I put my cigar out, usually it runs for 15, 20 minutes, however long as it kind of cycle that smoke out of the air, and then you'll see it go right back down to low. So the automatic feature works really, really well. Now as for controlling the unit, they've done a good job there. You can manually control it like I said. It also comes with a handy little remote, which I just put a little piece of Velcro on and I stick it to the side. That way I never lose this thing because it is pretty small. It also has a little remote though. So if you do want to change the settings without getting up, you can just control it with this remote. And lastly, for you techies like myself, really cool feature, this guy has Wi-Fi. You can control it via an app that they have, which is super cool. You can power the unit on and off. It has a reading of the air quality in the room. You can adjust your fan speed with a little slider. You can turn it to auto, adjust sensitivity. It even has a scheduling functions and timers so you can set it to run at certain speeds at certain times of the day. It also shows you the filter life of your filter. Point is, you can get super granular control with this app and it's a really cool feature. As you can tell, it also has a neat little light across there. It can be blue, you can turn it off, you can set it to be controlled by the ambient lighting of the room. It has a mood setting where it'll cycle through different colors. Pretty cool feature, especially if it's going in a kid's room or something, it could be like used for a nightlight, which pretty nice. So you're probably saying, that's great, Jeremy. You went through all the features, you went through all the stats, you went through what it looks like, but how does it actually work in use? How well does it actually clean the room in a cigar room and allow you to smoke cigars in a room in your house? The short answer is it works great. If you have a cigar room, I think it is a mandatory piece of equipment that you should have in your cigar room. Even if it's not for cigar room, if you're an allergy sufferer, have some mold problems, maybe your house is uh, damp, you have a basement, you live up north, whatever, great for a lot of purposes, but for a cigar room, I think it is a mandatory thing to have in a cigar room. Works really well. Now for the long answer, because you know I'm gonna give you a long answer. As many of you have pointed out in the comments, I can be a tad long-winded at times. This unit is rated for 815 square feet for normal use, which is gonna give you two air exchanges an hour. So basically in an 815 square foot room, all the air in that room is gonna be recirculated twice. But for a cigar room, you are gonna need way more than two air exchanges an hour. This room is about 160, 170 square feet. So in a room this size, you're getting a little more than eight air exchanges an hour. So about every five to seven minutes, it's recycling all the air in this room. And that goes a long way to keeping this room comfortable to smoke in, keeping the air nice and clean so your eyes aren't stinging, you're not having problems breathing, it's unpleasant. You don't want that when you're smoking a cigar. Now, how many people you have puffing away on cigars in a room is gonna have a big factor. If you've got four guys in this room I have just hammering cigars, this guy's probably gonna get a little overwhelmed. I found when smoking by myself or with a friend, this thing does a fantastic job. Keeps it very pleasant here, no haziness, no eye burning, any of that. So in a room this size, I would say you could easily get away with two guys, maybe even three, and it'd be very comfortable. You get more than three guys in here, you're probably gonna wanna consider running this in tandem with some form of exhaust system. If your room's a different size than this, you have a bigger room, for instance, big high vaulted ceilings, your results may vary and you may find it go one way or the other. Bigger room, more air, it's gonna dissipate the smoke a little easier, but at the same time, you're gonna get less air exchanges an hour, so I only have this room to go off, so all my results are based on this room. So how does this guy do at getting the smell out of the room? If I smoke a cigar in the room and my wife comes in 45 minutes later, 30 minutes later, is she gonna smell a cigar? Well, that's kind of a tough question. This guy does a really good job. Because of that charcoal filter, usually after about 15 minutes of this thing running, air at that point does smell good. However, something you have to consider is when you smoke in a room, it's not just the air that smells, it's the smoke smell gets stuck on surfaces. It st sticks on the rug, carpet, sticks to the walls. So even though this thing's doing a fantastic job of cleaning the air, you still may get some residual cigar smell in the room. And that's by no fault of this, it's just the nature of smoke and how that works. If you really wanna get rid of all the smell, you're gonna probably need to pair it up with, and we'll go into this in pretty great detail on my next video I talked about doing on the full ventilation system, but you're probably gonna to wanna to pair this thing up with some other means of deodorizing the room. This guy does do a fantastic job, but you have to be realistic with your expectations of how a room's gonna smell after you've had a cigar in it. As always, guys, I will be linking all the information on this guy down 
down below. So if it's something you're interested in purchasing or looking into, you can find all the details. And that's all she wrote. That wraps this one up. Hopefully you guys got some good information on the Rabbit Air today and you enjoyed hanging out with me for just a little while. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everybody is having a great week. Happy smokes and long ashes to all of you. And we'll see you in the next video. Fixing this, finish smoking this cigar. Damn thing's gone out like three times during this video because I keep talking and it goes out. Too much John does not go with cigar smoking.